Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Todd the Cheap Drums Guy. So I got the Tom suspension mount from Gibraltar out of Sweetwater. Uh, it was about 30 bucks. And what they are, they take the Tom arms off your drum if, if you have the ones that pro protrude into your drum shells. And your Tom arm will just go into the mount itself and your Tom will actually suspend freely, allowing for better tone, supposedly. I don't know, I haven't tried it out yet. But I'm here now up in the kitchen putting this thing together and I've got one drum done, my 12 inch is done and I'm working on my 13 inch now. And I ran into a couple little issues that they don't tell you about. Matter of fact, you don't get any directions whatsoever. I just had to uh, blow up a picture of the actual system and look to see how it's put together. But I did run into a couple of snags and I wanna make you aware of this ahead of time. So when you do get this or if you do, do get this you'll know in advance so let's take a look real quick okay as you see i already got one well let me throw the tag in there gibraltar um i already got mine put together uh no i haven't covered up the hole yet all right i'm gonna see how much that impacts it'll probably deaden the sound a little bit so i probably have to get a rubber grommet of some kind or just use tape to cover it up but as you can see it mounts to the tension rods um the 13 here, which I'm working on now, I have the mount off it, and here it is. And for those of you with brackets like this, if it's got one of these in there, be careful. They will fall out. And those little orange things, for some reason, are desirable to my dogs. And luckily I got to it before Ranger did, because he would have ate it. But uh, if you notice something on there, you see how it's raised? Well, that's not too much of a problem, really, because, you know, it, it's the mount's going to sit on top of it and it's going to protrude through a little bit. Well, these protrude a little too much. And I'll show you. Now, this mount, this back plate, has a number of holes. So whatever type of uh, tom arm you have, the mount, you can pretty much get it to work in here. Now, tinkering with this, the best way I saw was to do it like this. And this is going to sit up there, of course. Um, but as you... As you can see, it's still stuck in up and above. Well, as I'm putting everything together, when you put the washer down and then try to screw it back in, it doesn't hold it. It just, it because there's that space and it's just gonna wobble. So what I had to do to counter this, now it's sticking up just a, just a fraction of an inch. Okay, so what I did, I get this off so it doesn't make a lot of noise. You see on my other one, I had to throw in, you see right there, you got the screw, you got the washer, and then I put a big lock washer. It's about a half inch diameter, I think, to clear uh, for that mount. I think, I think it's about a half inch diameter hole. But I had to use that as a spacer in order for that to, to connect to uh, the plate. And then once I put the screw and washer in, and then it comes in contact with it and it holds it firmly. That's what I had to do to get it. If not, it's just gonna wobble all over the place. Um, let me move that out of the way. Now, here's the brackets that go on to this part of the arm. And that bracket mounts onto the plate. As you can see, the holes are these little square holes. And you'll have three of these with that little square mount. And that's where those go into right there. And that holds this tom arm. You don't need anything special. You don't need a, a bunch of ratchet sets. All I'm using is a Gerber multi-tool to put this together and it's working fine. And you'll need that for the, you can't really finger tight, it's a lock washer. But that's all it takes to get those on. And you have three of those round head, uh, I don't really screws or bolts now, I guess. You have three of those, and here you'll have two of these tension rod style bolts or screws, whatever you want to call them, and two washers. And then you also have that nut with the washer to go with this. And that is to prevent it from, from the plate coming in contact with your drum shell. It's just a big rubber pad, more or less, and it won't mar your finish. 
But that finding that issue with this, and because they're so highly raised up there, you'll need an extra spacer before you actually put your screw and washer back in. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that so you don't get all frustrated, you know, when you're trying to put it together like I did. Luckily I have spare parts and whatnot in my garage and I had the extra washers. But once you get most of it assembled, uh, all you really need to do is take off the two tension rods that you plan on mounting. You don't have to take, well, you do have to take the head off anyways to take the mount off. But once you get the head back on, you can tune it up if you want. But once again, you gotta take the t these two of the tension rods off that are right by the mount. When you put these brackets on, you make sure that these are loose because you're gonna to wanna to move this bracket back and forth to get it centered and get it set right. And then once you do, you can go ahead and tune up that drum again with those tension rods. Uh, other than that aforementioned little issue that I brought up, this, this is a nice little system. It looks like it's going to work well. We'll see, I haven't taken it downstairs and mounted it yet. And if I do have any other issues with it, um, I'll make note of it and I'll put out a little quick video, but it's not that hard to put together. You got those flat screws with uh, three lock nuts. You have your tension rod screw with a washer and that big rubber grommet that's going to fit <clears throat> right there. Like I said, let me put to show you this real quick again. But how this sits on there for this type particular mount is uh, right here. Now that big rubber, uh, that big rubber thing is going to go into this hole. It's going to stick out, and it's going to come in contact with the washer a little bit. But it, as you can see by mine, as you see by mine, it's not going to be an issue whatsoever because it does kind of conform to it. So, but anyways. I just thought I'd make you guys aware of that. Again, it's not hard to put together. It's just a little common sense. Try not to lose anything, because God knows how, how it would be trying to get a replacement part. But <clears throat> it's kind of a nice system. And the chrome looks really nice on it, you know, once I get my fingerprints off it. But uh, that was my only issue. I, I mean, I could have mounted it a little differently, moved it around, but there would have been a problem. And this is the only way it really fits and with this type of Tom mount. And right here is quite securely. Once you get it connected, uh, there's no movement to this at all. It, it's solid as a rock. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Well, it's a lock washers on the back now. It should. So, But anyways, I'm Todd, the Cheap Drums Guy. And, and if you got this system, good luck to you. And I'll probably give another little video down the road. And what I think about it and I can't do a, a, a before and after type video because I don't have all the editing crap to do it but uh it looks good let's see tonight how it sounds and then uh after a week or so of playing it I'll give another update on it anyways Todd the Cheap Drums guy have a good day people